On today's show, we have the unabridged version of App Radio Live and all the cool new things that are available for you at this year's AVH products. Yes. Whew, and it's unabridged. For those of you who don't know what that means, stay tuned. App Radio Live. Yes. Yay, right? Does anything for you? No. No, no. yeah. Okay. No, it's okay. You can say no. Uh, App Radio Live last year was kind of a pain in the butt because it was had a lot of hope and a lot of promise and really didn't deliver on much of it. For most people, when they commented, they, they just didn't like it. Um, not much has changed this year, but other things around it have changed. They what? Well, let's let's not spoil it. Let's build it up, you know. <laughs> um, so what is App Radio Live? For all you new guys out there, App Radio, App Radio Live is consisted of four things. Yes. And let's just show them. Okay. Okay. So come here and click the Windows button to get to the home page. Click App Radio Live, and you come to this page. These are your four widgets. This guy right here is going to be your weather. It's going to tell you the weather. How exciting. Looks like rain on Friday. Bummer. Tap up here to go home. Click this guy right here. This is going to be your calendar. It's Groundhog Day. <laughs> you can do it again. Tap here. Music. Now, this one's important because this is how you're going to access your iPod while you're in this particular setting. So you have your iPod, which you can tap here. You can go up. Here's all your music. You can switch to and then genre or playlist. So you can come over here, tap this. Oh. Right. So for right now, this is another thing, source. We'll get back to that in a minute, but those are your volume controls. All right, so we have music. We're going to X out of this. We're going to go back to this. Now, these are choices that you have. So, for example, um, you have Internet Radio is provided by Pioneer. Uh, you have a podcast collection. You have Stitcher. Stick. Stick. You get it, Sketcher. Um, and a couple other ones in here that you can choose from. And then, last but not least, we have navigation. Not really, though. Basically, what I like to call this is a really cool interface to tell you where things are at and Yelp reviews. So here's where you're at in the world. You can zoom in, zoom out. Come over here, tap this guy here. And this will take you to uh, your choices or search. So we want to go, let's say, food. Uh, breweries, you have a bunch to choose from here. Let's click desserts. Uh, there's a village inn. Let's try this place, never even heard of it. Now there's six reviews, which if we tap here, we can review. It's five minutes away at 2.2 miles. We'll go ahead and click on that. And what it's going to do is it's going to show us where this thing is at. Okay, here's where we are, here's where that is at. If we hit start, all it's going to do is this guy is going to move as you move. It's not going to talk to you, it's not going to tell you anything. It's going to show you green is good for traffic. This is going to change, but it's not going to do anything else. And that's really what most people complain about. However, if you come over here and you click this little icon, which is Nav, you can download this app called NavMe. And what NavMe allows you to do is actually get turn by turn and all that other fun stuff. So go ahead and tap that. Okay, now, go away. Up here, this is NavMe. It's realized that it's nighttime. It's a fully functional navigation system. We tap this icon right here. All right, it's gonna show us. This is what we wanna do. It's 2.1 miles away, three minutes. Go ahead and click start. Now, the way NavMe works is you go download it from the App Store. It's a free, there's gonna be ads. They're gonna pop up now and then. You tell it what state you live in, and it'll download the map for that state. And then, for the most part, that's it. It'll give you turn left, turn right. If you pay two bucks, it'll tell you to turn on the name of the street. It's kind of worth it. 
So now you take off. Here again, you can zoom in. You can zoom out. You can get an idea of where you're going. You can drag across the map. Do all that fun stuff that you can do with a normal navigation system. Now, it's a fully functioning navigation system, so if you wanted to, you can click here. And you can have it find a place or a parking garage. You can use this for your search. You don't have to go through the App Radio Live app if you don't want to. However, the App Radio Live app is a lot easier to use. Now, obviously you're not going to be driving in silence when you're going somewhere. So I'll click close. All right. So that comes us back, brings us back to here. So music and source off. So uh, you have two different volume controls. So if we're listening to music and the App Radio Live app, which is what we are now, okay, it'll appear here. Now, if we want to listen to the tuner, grab the FM and tab. Click here. Go to HD tuner. Pick a station. So we have a station, go ahead and click X here, go back to nav me, when we click the volume, we undo the mute, we can listen to the radio. So we can listen to the volume while we're using the navigation system and she'll pipe in and tell you when to turn and do all that cool stuff. Or you can listen to your iPod or any of the Pioneer music services through the App Radio Live app. And those will be controlled via the top volume, these guys here. All right. Now, one other cool feature has been added to this that you guys have been asking for forever. And that is the introduction of Waze over this bad boy right here. So, show me. Show you. Now, one thing to consider is app is not Waze. The Waze app is not integrated into App Radio Live like NavMe is. Waze is going to be a standalone app all by itself. So it's going to act a little bit differently. So let's go ahead and we'll work that. First thing we're going to do is come over here. Click this icon right here. And we have Waze. So all of you that are familiar with how Waze works, I don't really need to go into that because it's the most popular navigation app that I've ever had anyone talk about. Um, really what we want to show you is how to listen to sources. So we'll hit the volume again. So now we have the radio going. Okay. So that's cool. Hit mute. Oops. Hit mute. Don't need the copy protection thingy on our thing. Um, we can click here. Uh, actually, we'll hit here. And then we'll go back to your iPod. Okay. Shut that off for a second. And we'll go back. Go back to Waze. And then we'll come over here, and we'll see iPod, and it's muted out. And we're like, hey, what the heck? Where did it go? Well, that's because it's using the phone to do Waze. Now, what you can do is come over here, go to App Radio Live. This guy, come back to music. Go ahead and click. Whoop. No, go back. Yeah, we'll just pick that. And we'll pick that. That. Alright. And we'll go into here and mute it. 
for a second. I'll come out of here. Go back the ways. All right, so there's your iPod playing that music. Now, naturally, nothing is perfect, okay? There's no perfect. This is an inexpensive radio, app radio, well, inexpensive, I'm sorry. This is a 350 to $400 radio. Yeah. That's not cheap, I understand, but it's not a 1000 or $1,400 navigation system, right. okay? And Waze is free. All right, so there's going to be a little bit of give and take, we'll call it. Uh, things won't be as slick, all right, um, as you would expect. But it's it's free. I mean, it's giving you navigation for free. What do you expect? Well, you know, there's going to be something you're going to have to do. Um, <laughs> all right, so if you have an old 700 series radio, you'll still be able to listen to your music through the uh, App Radio Live app played over ways. Uh, like we were demonstrating there, you just won't be able to do tuner. Bummer. Oh well, give and take. Yep. All right, well, that brings this one to an end. Waze finally, yay, everyone should get excited. Woo -hoo, raise the roof. <laughs> Wrap it up for me. All right, so thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And as usual, you guys have a wonderful night. If you have any questions about this cool new feature, you know where to leave it. Otherwise, bye.